Drive through the night to lay underneath the stars. Feels like I'm dreaming to be wherever you are. When I fell for you From my heart I'm calling Hear me say I do You Dancing alone. 
Michael was following around her and following her moves. It was beautiful to see. And that's how I knew that they were meant to be together. Because they love the Lord and they both share in fun in each other's works. There's going to be a lot of ups and downs now that you two are married. <laughs> but please know that God will forever be with you. And that those words reign true not only to you, but for the rest of us. So, a toast to the bride and groom. May the Lord lead you in good, good health and lead you in love. I'm honored to be your friend. I love you, Michael. And I hope that you and Burke have a long and fruitful marriage. And I hope that we remain friends. <laughs> In Genesis 1-1, the Bible opens up with the creation story. And in this story, the first thing we realize is that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And on the first day, he created the light and said that it was good. On the second day, he created the skies and said that it was good. And on the third, fourth, and fifth days, he created the land, vegetation, the sun, moon, and stars, and the fish of the sea, and the birds of the air. And all of these things were declared good. And on the last day, God made the pinnacle of all creation because as it is written, God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. But then God noticed that something was not good. The man that he created was alone. So God put Adam to sleep, and in his sleep, God opened up his side, took out one of his ribs, and made Eve. Then he brought her to Adam, and the first wedding ceremony took place. Michael and Brooke, I'm reminding you and the rest of this assembly that marriage is God's idea. Marriage is meant to be a picture of something deeper and far more spiritual. As the dance between husband and wife takes place, as a husband leads and loves his wife by serving her, and as a wife respects and honors the godly leadership of her husband, they're painting a profound picture of Christ and the church. Now, Michael and Brooke, there will be times when this dance gets hard, but as you both walk by faith and not by sight, stay committed to the Word of God and be filled with the Spirit of God, we believe that the picture you paint will be beautiful in the eyes of a watching world. So, Brooke, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love him, to cherish him in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity, and to cleave to him and him only as long as life shall last? I do. <laughs> Michael, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love her, to cherish her in sickness and in health, in prosperity and in adversity, and to cleave to her and her only as long as life shall last. I do. I, Michael Dean Tice. <coughs> I, Michael Dean Tice. <laughs> Take you, Michelle Brooke Kent. Take you, Michelle Brooke Kent. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. To cleave to you and you only. To cleave to you and you only. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. With this ring I be wed. With this ring I be wed. With loyal love I'm endowed to you. With loyal love I'm endowed to you. All my worldly goods with you I share. All my worldly goods with you I share. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Who is blessed forevermore. Who is blessed forevermore. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Brooke, as a ceaseless reminder of this sacred committal, you likewise place this ring on the wedding finger of your husband and repeat after me. I, Michelle Brooke Kent. I, Michelle Brooke Kent. Take you, Michael Dean Tice. Take you, Michael Dean Tice. 
To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. To cleave to you and you only. To cleave to you and you only. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. With loyal love, I'm endowed to you. With loyal love, I'm endowed to you. All my worldly goods with you I share. All my worldly goods with you I share. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Who is blessed forevermore. Who is blessed forevermore. Amen. 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 Oh, we did it. I'm married now. We made it. We did it. After countless adversity we've had, we were here. We just tied the knot together and this is the beginning of a wonderful adventure we're about to be on called life. Uh, God is going to be with us through all of it. Oh, he makes me so happy. I can't talk. But you know, it's been up and down, but we've done great. God's taken such good care of us, providing always, like every time we doubt him, he's like, oh yeah, surprise. Look what I can do. It's awesome. And I can't wait to see what he does with us. And for the first time as your husband, Lord, bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face towards you and give you peace. I love you, Brooke. I'm very excited to start my life with you. See you So by the power invested in me as a minister of Jesus Christ our Lord, in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tice. I appreciate y'all for the information.